Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. So good to have you here for Thursday Night Live, finally on a Thursday for a change. <laughs> if you don't know, every Thursday at 7pm Australian Eastern Standard Time, myself or Natalie, the admins from Cricket for Australians, links in the description below, uh, go live. Um, I go live on YouTube, she goes live on, uh, on Facebook, uh, alternate Thursdays obviously. And uh, we share, you know, something that we've seen in the group that people are wanting to learn or might want to learn about. And um, yeah, that's what we do. So if you're not a member of Cricket for Australians, again, link in the description, make sure that you sign up. If you don't know who I am, my name is Paul, Scissors Paper Paul on Instagram, Facebook and on YouTube. Make sure you're following me on all of those socials because I do share different tips and inspiration and project links and all that good stuff uh, on those different platforms as well. And I love the support. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Um, and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. <laughs> uh, hope you're well. Uh, if you're in Melbourne like me, yay, we're getting freedom tomorrow. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I'm going Friday night shopping. I'm going to be super safe. I'm going to have my mask. I'm going to be socially distancing. But I have things that I need to buy and I'm going to be <clears throat> off like a rocket. So let me know if you're in Melbourne, what are you going to be doing uh, when you get out of lockdown as well. Let's jump in and see who's here and then we'll get started. Karen's here. Dancing in the chilly weather. I bought some new Ugg boots today. I'm breaking them in under the desk. Uh, loving those. <laughs> hey, Tanil, good to have you here. Eric is here as well. Deirdre, all the regulars. Awesome. It is freezing in Melbourne as well, Sui. Uh, and Carol, you're jigging away with me. I love it. And Jackie's loving the grooves as well. Awesome. So tonight, tonight I'm going to show you how to, you know, you can, what is it? Teach a man to fish. Or whatever that the saying is <laughs> but ultimately I created these um, three-dimensional uh, projects so they I thought they'd be great for toddlers so I did one with the baby announcement some time ago and you guys loved it so I thought I'd make something a little bit more mature I've got the rocket ship and I've also got a mermaid um, I'm going to show you exactly how I designed them so you can make your own of course as always I've shared these project links on my Facebook page in the pinned post so you can you can grab that, you can make it your own, you can use it as a bit of a template, completely up to you. Um, or you can just start completely from scratch. But I just want to show you how I did that. I've done all my cutting ahead of time. Uh, so I'm going to show you some of the construction. Uh, but ultimately, I really just wanted to show you that process and how you would actually go about it. Uh, one of the products that's new that I'm going to show you tonight, because I did cut this on my Cricut Maker 3, is I did use a couple of sheets of the new Smart Paper sticker cardstock <laughs> say that turned 10 times really fast this is fabulous because it's lovely thick cardstock just like ac cardstock that we know from spotlight which is one that i use and what i'm pretty much using exclusively tonight um, but this is smart so it means you can go through your uh, your new Cricut Maker 3 again if you did you pre-order the Cricut Maker 3 or the Explore 3 let me know in the comments as well um, but ultimately what's great about this is one you don't need a mat to cut it of course if you've got scraps you can cut it on a mat no worries there um, but also it's already got adhesive applied so I've got a couple of elements so I'm going to be adding on to the project tonight just to show you it in action comes in these beautiful primary colors comes in these stunning patterns pastels as well it comes in black it comes in white so fabulous fabulous product and if you don't have a maker 3 or explore 3 you can still pick this up and you can cut it on your mat as well so let me just pop those down here file those away and we're going to jump into design space and i'll just check your comments as well lynn welcome good to see you if you're new to my channel type new in the comments so i get to meet you uh gail's here wonderful so good to have everyone here. Joy Pepper, I love your name. You sound like a superhero or cartoon character. Donna's here as well. Awesome. Uh, Suzette saying bike group starts back this weekend. Fabulous. Enjoy that. And uh, Melissa finally got the power back on. We actually are light, so fingers crossed tonight will be okay. Last night we did not lose power, but about four times the lights in the house just, yeah, they flickered. So we thought we were going to have a bit of a power cut. All right, let's jump into quick design space. I'm going to open up the project that I've used. If you didn't know, you can actually see on the front page all of the various images that I've used to create these files. I'm going to click Customize. 
And um, here you have the two designs, of course, again, these templates are on my Facebook page. You can go ahead and you can make these just as is, but I'm gonna show you how I went about creating them. So I'm just gonna show you one tonight, but just so you're aware, you can see these kind of outer squiggly blobby type cutouts. Um, when I did the mermaid, not that, it, you know, again, you do you and whatever works for you. But all I did was obviously change the color, but I just mirrored that. I flipped it so that this way you can see the little circle dots up here on the left and on the mermaid, it's on the right. So again, just to make them a little bit different. So I'm going to get rid of my mermaid. And actually I'm going to just hide my rocket as well. And we're going to start from scratch. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab a square. And I always do my shadow boxes. I buy the, the $10 from Kmart, the 12 by 12 shadow boxes. But I always make my designs uh, around 11 inches. And that just gives me a little bit of wiggle room around the outside. So I'm not kind of, kind of really jamming it in there and cramming it in there. And I think it just is really nice. You can kind of frame the back of your design as well. So that's what I'm going to start with. And now I'm going to go and I'm going to grab the images to create this project. So the first thing that I needed was stars. So I'm going to type in stars because I wanted to make this starry background, a little cutout. So I'm just going to scroll down until I can find the design that I found or that I actually used. Here it is here. It doesn't look like much at the moment. And I'm going to keep searching and I'm going to search for rocket ship. And here is the image that I used as well. So I'm going to click on that. And I also, uh, I, I search for planet, but I know this one's actually called Jupiter. So I'm just going to search Jupiter just to make it a little bit easier. Of course, this isn't the colors that I used, but this is just, you know, creating the, the concept, the design, bringing it all together. Now I wanted to find little blobby shapes. I did try searching blob in design space and didn't quite get what I was after. I did get results, but not what I was after. In the end, I used these designs they are monogram space, I think. Let me just type that in. Yes. And if I go into uh, the eye icon here, I can actually click on view image sets. This is going to give me all of the images within the set. And then I just went through looking for the blobby sort of wavy shape that worked for what I what I liked. I wanted it sort of wide, so I was going to have, you know, more of a window. I didn't want it too narrow. Um, so the ones that I used was... I use the letter F, if I can find F, and the number 1. So there's 1, and there's F. So I'm going to insert all of these images. And that's everything we need to get started. So we'll wait for everything to pop up on our screen. I'm going to move these out of the way. So the first thing that I want to grab are my stars. Okay, so you can see here, this is just five stars, and I don't know... Hopefully you can see on my design, there's a lot of little cutouts and little stars poking through that back layer. And that's both for the stars in the sky or the, this in, the, in outer space and also sort of bubbly sort of water elements for my mermaid. So what I did was, I'm just going to move these elements out of the way, is I grabbed another shape, just a square, and I moved it over the top. I'm going to unlock the proportions by clicking on the padlock icon on the bottom left. And I'm just going to drag it so it's over the dots. And I'm going to select all, and then I'm going to slice. Now hopefully, this will give us, let me get rid of these layers. This now gives me the stars that I want, the actual so negative image. Now you could have used contour as well. and contoured the outside to hide that and then contoured every dot to show that but this is much easier okay and i'll change it to white just so i can see visually what it's going to look like and then all i did is i made it obviously a little bit bigger i think i copied about i'm just going to do command c or control c and then command v or control v to copy them and then i just move them around on my on my cut out my background just to where I thought they looked kind of good and obviously you can do whatever works for you making that I make another one over here somewhere and so you can see I'm just making that looking like it's going to be like a starry scape so now what I want to do is obviously slice those from my background shape 
So before I do that, I'm just going to take another copy of my background shape. I can grab that. So again, Control C or Command C and then Control V or Command V to copy it because um, we want one that's exactly the same size. And then if you didn't know already, I could hold down my Control or my Command key and I can click on all of these star images or if I go over to the right hand side I can also do it in the layers panel and sometimes when things you've got multiple elements sometimes it's easier just to again hold down your control or your command key and just click on the layers that you want and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to weld them and the reason that I'm welding them is because you can only slice two images at once so I need that the, all those stars those six star shapes that I used I need them to be one image so that I can now slice it from the background so I'm just going to drag my mouse over these two and then I'm going to click slice from the bottom right and hopefully now we've got there we go We've now sliced away, and if I change the color of my canvas, just so we can see behind it, if I do goldie color, you can now see the stars are now appearing right through that cutout. So that's our background layer. Of course, I made this black for my um, C, um, for my uh, space, but you can make it, you know, blue, and for, I made it blue for the um, mermaid, but again, you just make whatever colors work best for you. So that is our back layer. So the next layer we're just going to bring to the front. So I'm just going to send that one to the back. So I'm just going to bring this one to the front. And now I'm going to take my little blobs. I'm trying to work out which one I used on top, which was this one, I think. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to bring it to the front, send to front. And as you can see, there's a lot of elements here. I've got an alien, I've got stars, I've got the letter, you know, the word one, the number one and so forth. I don't need all of that. Now I could ungroup and just remove each of the layers. Or again, if I actually, this is actually um, a print and cut image. If I click, um, actually, I'll tell you what I've done wrong here. I don't think, oh yeah, no, this will work. So this is actually a print and cut image. There are layered versions of this as well. So originally I actually had the layered version and then I just deleted all the elements that I did, didn't want because I only want this very, very back layer. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna enlarge this. Okay, and then I'm just gonna move it around until I feel it looks good. I can also select both of these layers. So again, holding your control or your command key and selecting both layers, or you can do it in the layers panel as I showed you. And then I can come up to a line and I can center if I wanted to get it right in the middle. And while they're both selected, I'm also gonna come down to the bottom right and I'm gonna click slice. So now we should have Get rid. Now we've got our, our cut out there. So that's going to be our top layer. Okay, so I can move that away and then I can get rid of that blob shape. Okay, so hopefully that's making sense. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to change this because it is my top layer. I'm going to change it to white so that we can start to see how things are taking shape. Okay, so now we can see this is going to be that top white layer. We're peeking through and we can see the stars. So the next thing we want to do is create that middle layer, which is blue. And that's using another little blob shape. Okay. And uh, we're going to obviously make that a little bit smaller. So the first thing I'm going to do again is I'm going to duplicate this layer. So command or control C and then command or control V. Obviously this has the cutout. So I'm just going to go down to contour and I'm going to say hide all contours and that will just make it a solid shape once again. So making sure these are all aligned. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to move this top layer. I'm just going to send backward. And the reason that I want to do that is because I want to now see with my next blob, I want to be able to see through so that I can line up my next blob and make sure that they're, they're nicely aligned. So now I'm going to take my next blob. Here it is. And I'm going to right click and send to front. And we're going to make it a little bit bigger. Okay, and then I can sort of move it around, making sure that I'm happy with how much is visible. Yep, and I'm pretty happy with that. But for that first, I'm going to move this back, this top layer, send it to back, because now I want to slice this by selecting the control or command key, selecting both layers, and then click slice. 
And now we've got this new layer, which I'm going to change to blue. Move that out of the way, get rid of our white, get rid of our blob. And I'm going to, what I'm going to do is move this white layer to the very front. So selecting the right layer, white layer, center front. And now when I select all and align, there we can see, we can see all the different layers. We can see what we're going to see as each sort of layer peeks through. So I'm just going to check the comments to make sure that that all made sense. Um, I didn't miss anything. So Jessica's saying, or Jessie's saying she might make one for her mum's 70th. Love it. And the mermaid one. Brilliant. Um, yes, Suzette answered your question. So the sticker, smart paper sticker cardstock can be used on a mat in either, all the machines. So all good there. And Tennille's waiting to see what other colors they release, which is good. Okay, just checking. Hey, Stevie, that's my sister. Linda's here and Chris as well. No worries. All right, brilliant. And Brenton's here as well. Thank you so much all for watching. Okay, so let's keep going. So back into design space. So we've now got our sort of three layers. So our very back layer, our sort of cloud, sort of blue layer, and well, our sort of sky blue layer and then our cloud white layer. Now on my design, I also had these little peekaboo circles that just sort of poked through to the next layer just for a little bit of interest. So pretty basic stuff. I just went to shape, added my circle. Okay, and then I just resized it as I wanted to. And you can obviously do this as you want. And I put two on each, so I'd put one down here. So I'm just gonna copy this again and paste and I came up here and I make this one a little bit smaller so again I can select both of these by holding down my command or control key and I can weld them and that way they're one piece and then I can select them again select that white layer and slice and then we'll get rid of these and we can see now oh, oh, open there. Oh, and these ones as well sorry <laughs> And we'll align everything up again. So align center. And now we can see that blue is poking through there. And we wanted to, and I did the same with the blue layer as well. So I wanted to have a circle here and a circle here. So we'll just add some more circles. Okay, so a teeny tiny one up here, maybe like that. And then we're going to copy it and paste it. Come down here. And again, you can make it any size that you like. So I'm going to select both of these again, command or control, and then click on them, both of them. I'm going to weld them so that they're one image. Then I'm going to select it. But because I've got my white layer on top, what I also need to do is just either move that out of the way or bring that blue layer forward. So we're going to select that, those circles and the blue layer, and we're going to slice those as well. So we'll select those to get rid of them and get our rocket ship out of the way and bring these layers and then I'm going to right click on the white layer center front and center again so there we go so we've got the peekaboos going through both sides and we've got those three layers and then easily enough now we just need to right click on our uh, our planet and bring that forward and then make resize that to what we find is in proportion likewise with our rocket ship we want to send that to front I also just you know for visual purposes um, just move that on the angle as well rotated it now on my original version I actually um, had this a lot smaller so I actually had about 10 centimeters and I've since changed it up and I've actually made it about 15 centimeters so the templates are the larger version um, but just so you know that's why it looks a little bit bigger and the reason that I wanted to do that is I just felt with the original I'll just show you if I go to the overhead. I just felt it was really, really small and there was just too much negative space. So now it'll come sort of around this sort of area. So I think that's going to work a little bit better. Now, of course, just quickly jumping back in design space, you can change these colors. I did obviously on my template, I use greens and blues. And with the rocket ship, I went more reds and oranges and things like that. But that is effectively how we created those designs. I know that was a lot of information. I hope it made sense. If you do have any questions, Again, drop those in the comments. I'm not going to save this version that I've just made. So again, this is a template. If I get out of this, if I go back to my projects 
and click on this one again and click customize and replace. Um, this is unchanged. So this is a template that you have access to on my Facebook page. And again, if you make this, make sure you share it on the socials, tag me, share this video. I'd love you to, to do all of that. All right, so checking quickly, there's no questions and then we'll get into the construction. All righty, uh, where am I? Celia's here. Uh, yes, yeah, so Janine, I got the um, rocket ship. I got all the, they're all from Cricut Design Space. That's the only way, just so you know, the only way I can share these project files is if I use Cricut Design Space images and fonts. Otherwise, you just won't have access to them. Um, the idea for me as well is that I'm going to pop, um, this the rocket ship one's going to be for my nephew. It's his birthday coming up next month, this month. Um, and I'm just going to put his name on the right hand side, sort of in the corner there as well. Pablo, you've ordered your, um, did you get the Maker 3 or the Explore 3? Um, brilliant. All right, let's get into the construction. So I'm going to move my keyboard out of the way. Go to the split camera. All right, so we're going to put both of these together, but for time saving, I have constructed the Mermaid um, because, I mean, it's the same concept. Um, you know, I just didn't want to do, you know, too much repetition, but otherwise we're going to go through and we're going to put these all together now. So I'm going to move this one to the side. First thing we need to do is get our base and I just chose to use white. You can use whatever colors work for you. And I love, this is what I love about the Cricut mat as well. It just makes lining things up a hell of a lot easier as well. So the first one we're going to do is the mermaid. So I'm going to take my blue sort of sea background. And the first thing you need to do is decide which way you want those stars to be positioned. Um, so I'm going to go with this. So then I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to a little cut out there. I'm going to flip this over. And I'm going to get my foam squares. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but I just want to show you not all foam squares are created equal. Okay, so these are really quite flat, which I used on my other design and I wasn't really happy with. These are the ones that I buy from Spotlight. They're so cheap, but I get them when they're on sale. They are really nice and thick. So you're gonna get some really good dimension to your project. You know me, I love my dimension. The higher I can get it, the better. <laughs> but they're really, really thick. So hopefully you can see, can you see the difference there? Like it's a huge difference. I noticed it straight away, I thought, oh, this isn't right, doesn't feel right. So I'm just gonna pop these on the edges and on the corners, making sure I don't block any of the cutouts because then you'll obviously see, um, see it through and then put some in the middle as well. Okay, I'm happy with that. So I'll we'll pop those off. Uh, anyone watching, did you make the baby announcement one that was so popular? I can't believe it. It just blew up on my channel. My most popular video ever. And it got shared on some of the overseas web uh, groups as well. Um, so it was really good. All right, so I'm just going to pop this right smack bang in the middle again using my mat to kind of um, get everything sort of measured up. And that's about right. And then we'll pop that layer down. Beautiful. Right. With this one as well, it has this coral element. So with the coral element, I'll just move this out of the way, um, the way that I applied it, and you can do what you what works for you. But there are three layers, and what I did was the bottom layer I'm going to glue straight onto my background, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these pieces. They do match up um, with some elements on here, so I'm going to glue them directly on and then uh, I'm gonna pop this up with some dimension, okay? But you could layer this up as many times as you like. Uh, the glue that I'm using, Scotch Tacky, again, links all in the description. Uh, I put it into a fine tip bottle, which you can easily find on Amazon or uh, the cheap $2 shops or Lincraft have them. Um, just a fine tip applicator bottle. So I'm just gluing that on. Hands down, my favorite glue ever. I'll never say a bad word about it, I love it not sponsored, quite difficult to get here. <laughs> um, you have to sort of buy it online through the craft shops. I think some, there are some craft shops in Australia that do sell it, but um, none in Melbourne that I'm aware of. Um, but it's great because it dries clear and also with liquid glue, you do have a bit of wiggle room. Just as you can see me, I'm sort of moving this around before it dries. 
Um, but if you do make a mistake, it dries clear. So no issues there. Now there is another little piece that belongs to this, which I'm probably going to find after I finish this live. So we're not, we're going to go without that. That's all right. Again, the joys of live crafting. I've lost a little piece. I did sort of blow to try and clear my um, space earlier. And um, I did think, oh God, did I just blow all the pieces away? Uh, this layer, I'm, as I've mentioned, I'm going to glue this straight onto my background. So again, I just use little dots of glue. You can see I'm, I'm not heavy handed with glue. Glue lasts me so, 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 so long. I just want it to stick on. Um, as I say, I've made a million cards and they're all still attached. So again, just using my mat to line this up in the middle. Again, you can have it off to the side. You do you, you do what works for you. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop up this layer with my foam squares. So I've got some larger foam squares and then I've got these small ones. These are also paper craft, but these are quarter of an inch. So I'm just gonna use those here as well. Uh, I'm just using enough to keep it propped up. All right, so remove the sticker protector from the back. And flip it over and just line that up. There we go. And that's that layer. So we're already starting to get some really cool dimension here, some shadow elements and things like that. So it's looking terrific. Uh, the next piece that we're going to do, and I just want to make sure I get this around the right way, is we will put on our... Uh, uh, sort of middle layer, um, which I've done in this green shimmer cardstock. So all of this cardstock, apart from a couple of elements, uh, all AC cardstock from Spotlight, but um, this is actually from Divine Blanks. It's super cheap. Um, it comes in green, dark pink, light pink. It might even be in other colors now. I don't know. I've had it for years, but it is so beautiful and thick. I cut it on medium cardstock with extra pressure and has a really nice shimmery sort of a, a glossy um, sort of finish to it. It's really, really nice. So I just want to make sure I'm getting it the right way up and then I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to glue the bottom directly onto this layer that I've already propped up. So I don't need to put any foam squares on the bottom. I'm just going to put them on the corners here. Do prop up these inner pieces as well to make sure that they stay nice and dimensional and don't sort of flop against your finished project. So just pop those on there. And again, I don't need to worry about here, but I might just put one on this area as well. So this is effectively going to sit right on top here. All right, so first thing, I'm gonna remove these protective pieces from the stickers. And we're almost done with our mermaid because I have constructed the mermaid already. So before I flip this over and apply it, I'm just going to put some liquid glue on the bottom of my coral. And then we'll pop this again, just making sure it's all lined up. All the sides and the top and everything. Brilliant. Okay, I'm happy with that. Just gently press that down, hold that down on the liquid glue so that can dry. And there we go. It's really starting to come together. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our last uh, layer. So you can see here, I can see the green from the pink and I can see the blue through the green. So we're getting that lovely dimension as well. So now we're going to just pop this up with foam squares as well. So just popping them in the corner and in the middle. Again, make sure you get these areas that pop out because you want to make sure that they stay up nice and high and dimensional. And then we just have to add our mermaid and we are done ski. 
other than putting it into the frame, which I won't do tonight. You've seen me do that a million times. Um, and again, let me know if you've got any questions. Um, some, someone asked, are they print then cut? No, they're not. You could flatten them and make them print then cut. But as you can see, they're actually, well, you will see when I do the rocket, but no, even the mermaid is all separate layers. But you could flatten them and, um, you know, if you don't want to do the different layers. Okay. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. that don't stick that down. So hopefully you can see the shadows in there from the dimension. And if I hold it up like that, of course, you can start to see it all coming to shape. So the last element for this is the beautiful mermaid. Um, as I said, she is all layered cardstock so it's just one layer on the bottom and then the different colored layers on top one thing that I try and do I'm gonna try and capture it here is I do try and uh, cut my I cut my cardstock textured side down if it has a texture and it's sometimes I'll mirror the design so that I can get that texture on the front so with her hair her face her skin and even her tail that's all got the texture added to it so here I am with my mermaid what I want to do with her though is I want her to really come out of here. So I'm going to pop her probably somewhere around, I think, here is going to work really well. So what I'm going to do is with my foam squares, so I'm just going to pop her over. I'm actually going to layer these up. So I'm going to put one here, one there, and one about here. Okay. Actually, I'm going to put one there as well because she's a lot bigger than the than the other version. So I'm going to take off my stickies, and then I'm going to add more foam squares. So another foam square on top, another foam square on top, so on and so on. Okay, so that's nice and thick, but I want it her to come right out of this design. Okay. So I'm actually going to add another layer. Now I did this last time with my smaller, those flatter uh, foam squares. So she's really going to pop out of here. Um, so maybe two is enough for you. Uh, or if you're working with flatter ones like I was when I did my prototype, then um, you might want to uh, yeah, use more or less or whatever. So again, just flop her over, but you can see there's lots of dimension here. And then we'll move our design back into the middle. Okay, and then we'll pop her, I reckon about there. And there you have it. That's our first design. As you can see she's really popping out there. Uh, but that's the first design, the mermaid. So hopefully you like that one. We'll now quickly put together our space scene. And then we are done for the day. I do, don't jump off yet if you're in Melbourne and you want one of these, my prototypes, not in a frame, but if you want to catch up for coffee when it's safe to do so and socially distanced and all of that good stuff, um, I'm going to give you the chance, if you want, uh, to meet me for a coffee and I'm going to give you one. So up to you. <laughs> all right, so let's do the first layers. We'll do them super quick because we've done this before. We don't need to uh, explain the heck out of all of this. So I'm just going to do my first layer. And we'll get we'll do a little bit more construction here because I am going to use the smart paper sticker cardstock. Smart paper kick bleh, 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 say that ten times really fast. Smart paper sticker cardstock. <laughs> All right, so there we go. So we'll just pop this one on really quickly. Um, I originally did want to use navy for this as well rather than black for for the outer space, but. Um, in lockdown and I couldn't I, did, I ran out of navy so it had to be black so sometimes you just got to work with what you've got all right so again just making sure this is nice and centered even around all sides boom done ski and we'll do the same with our blue layer nice and quick again so again this was exactly the same design as a mermaid I just mirrored the design okay have it with that make sure 
sure they're all off. Yep. Okay, and then again, just in the middle, oh, matching it up to the black layer. So this will be for my nephew, this one. And most probably the mermaid will be for my niece, let's be honest. <laughs> Although I'm pretty sure, Steve, if you're still watching, are you sick of me? putting stuff on your daughter's, my beautiful niece's walls. <laughs> All right, so the last layer, just making sure we've got it around the right way. Yes, we do. Put that over. Definitely need to get spotlight. Running out of foam squares. Any questions? Yes, I forget to take the backing off as well. That's why you can see me um, giving them a little press there. <laughs> Always tell if they're sticky or not very quickly. <laughs> so again, just lining up edges here, placing it down, boom, done. Perfect. All right. Love it. So again, nice and dimensional. We can see the pop of white for the stars through there. Um, that looks fantastic. So let's quickly put this together because um, I'm conscious of time. Um, so we've got obviously our layers here. Um, I'm going to blow your mind as well if you haven't seen this tool that I'm going to show you in a second. Um, but effectively, let's just glue the sucker together. So again, not, lots of little dots. Don't need to go crazy. Try and get the edges, try and get these little parts that do stick out. Um, this one's not so bad because it's going to be inside a frame, but of course you don't want things getting caught and catching and all of that fun stuff. And then I'm just going to sort of marry these up and press down. And that is perfect. Then we'll flip this one over. Same thing. And then the next tool that I'm going to show you, and I don't think I included in this description, I normally do, I'll, if I remember I'll go back and add it. It's called a Silhouette Pick Me Up tool. So we're going to see me use it a bit now for some of these smaller pieces. Uh, but now I'm just matching up that green part, the dark green with the light green, and then we'll just stick that on there. There we go. Okay, and then we've got this little bitty piece here that we need to glue on at the very bottom. So what I'm going to do, so I'm just going to put a couple of bits of glue on the main piece rather than the small piece. And let me just grab a needle to clear out my... I'm just using like a sewing pin. If you find that's not thick enough, you could use a sewing machine needle as well, but that might be a little bit too thick. Um, biggest tip with your glue, particularly in these small bottles, is um, don't leave the lid off. Always pop your lid back on. There's heaps of glue there. Um, but it's called a Silhouette Pick Me Up Tool. And basically, it's got a bit of blue tack on the edge, and it just means you can pick up all of these little teeny tiny pieces really, really easily, pop them onto your project, um, and it does make your crafting life a lot easier when you're dealing with small pieces. So that's our planet. And next we're going to do our rocket ship. So first things first, I'm just going to get some of these pieces. Hopefully I haven't blown any of them away when I cleared my desk earlier i think i actually may have i can't see all of the pieces oh no there i think it might all be there um, but anyway we're going to do this really really quickly so we've got our white layer on top of that goes this is our adhesive cardstock so i'm just peeling that off just you know go gently but you can be it is beautifully thick cardstock it's really really nice to work with so i'm just going to peel off that and then just match this up with my white layer, just like we would with anything else. Now, if you don't press it down hard, it is basically repositionable. Um, but once you're happy, you can just press that down. Hey presto, that's glued on, and that will become permanent. 
There's also another piece here that's part of this project. I'm just going to grab that and it's got some little bits that I just need to poke out. My weeding tool. Don't need you. Don't need you. Right. Stuck there with a bit of adhesive that they've cut beautifully. Oh, and I've stuck that onto itself. Okay, alright, so this is part of the rocket ship. So again, I'll just pop it on here. Get a bit of an idea where it should go. Move it around a bit. When I'm happy with it, just stick it down. So there we go. So that piece is done. And then we will glue on our other pieces. I will do the red as well. So this is the sticker paper also. So just peeling it off. Parts that I actually want. So this is the red flames, and then position that down here. Okay, so there's the red flames. We've also got some red pieces on the side of the wing, which have these little white, all these little cutouts as well. So we'll just pop those up there as well. One on the other side, there's another red piece as well, but we'll do that in a second. Okay, so there's our rocket ship taking shape and we'll glue on these other pieces. So again, you can use your template as a guide, but I also know which way up these go because I cut them so that the textured side would be on top. And then we'll just you on there okay and then we've got this little corally piece so it's a bit like a puzzle when you're putting these things together if you didn't know as well in Cricut Design Space when you've got a complex multi-layered image the order in which they're stacked on your layers panel is the order that they go so the white layer in this uh, image will be at the bottom, the black layer will be above that, and so on and so on. So if you ever get stuck, that will tell you exactly what you need to do and how you need to do it. All right, so I think I've got this piece, which just goes here. I've lost a little piece of this, but it's okay. I'll probably find it on the floor later. And we've got another red piece that goes in here. How easy is that? It's the cardstock, the adhesive cardstock. So there is a little turquoise piece that's supposed to come under here, so I'll try and find that later. Uh, but now I'm going to use my little pickup tool again, and we're just going to do a couple of little drops or blobs of glue here first. Take my pickup tool. Grab this teeny tiny piece, pop it on. Okay, another couple of little blobs. Grab this other little piece, stick that on. And we are Dunsky. So I'll definitely try and find that turquoise piece so that I can uh, put this to together properly. But um, all I did with this one was again with my foam squares. So I, I might use two because it's a little bit bigger. So just peel those off and position my planet. I'm going to put you about there. Again. And then again, just like I did with my other design, I'm going to put on three layers of foam squares on the rocket ship. So first layer peeling off 
adding on the second layer. Um, this Sunday I will also be live at 11 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. I have been very kindly gifted the new Joy Cricket Foil Transfer Tool. <laughs> so I'm going to be having a wee play with that. Um, so by all means join me, 11 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. And Natalie will be live in Cricket for Australians Facebook group next Thursday at 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. I can't remember what she's doing next week. Um, but keep an eye out for that one in the group. All right, so now we've got lots of dimension here again, making sure I've taken all the sticky off. And then uh, we're just going to position this. And I wanted it to overlap on the blue. So it's sort of coming both through the clouds, through the sky and into space. So I'm going to pop that about there. And ultimately what I'll do when it's inside the shadow box is I'm going to put my nephew's name there. So I'm just jump into the comments. I hope you found that useful. Um, again, if you've got any other questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. Uh, Kelly, you're making this brilliant. I love it. I did try and share a little bit ahead of time in the hope that if you um, wanted to cut it out, you'd, um, uh, yeah, you'd craft along with me. So that's great. Glad you're loving it, uh, Linda. Uh, tr trans saying couldn't get the offset to work though. I think that was about something you were asking me the other day. Oh, for the baby one, yes. Um, that is in beta, just remember that. Um, I know they are working on some bugs. Uh, Zelia saying I was making a first birthday party stuff, so do not make the announcement next grandbaby. Awesome. Yes, yeah, you're getting out of lockdown. Uh, Janine saying, do you get the different size dimensions in one pack? No, okay, so good question. So basically foam squares, I get the half inch. That's, I, I think they just, oh, they do actually say 12 millimeters uh, or the uh, quarter inch. So they come separately in different packs. Good question. Um, Janine saying, actually did it last night. I was making a card and it looks much better cutting texture side down. And even though I remember to flip it as well. Brilliant. It makes such a difference. And also sometimes if you wanted, like maybe the skin could be smooth and the hair's got texture. Like you can start playing with, with it like that as well. Um, lots of wonderful comments. I won't go through them all. I just want to quickly see. Oh, you're very kind, Janine. Thank you. Uh, Pablo's loving it. Excellent. Thanks, Pablo. Thanks for joining from the US. I love it. And uh, Zelia saying, Paul, would you please make us a big growth letter for the babies? Need some inspo as your niece is growing too. I can actually get you that as well. Natalie's actually created one from Nat's Crafty Life. So I'll get a, I'll get a copy of the project and I'll post it on my page. Uh, brilliant. All right, everyone. Um, Jesse, I've answered that question. Yes, you can use it on a mat. Just quickly going, yep, brilliant. All right, so have a wonderful week. Congratulations, Melbourne, if you're in lockdown. If you're still watching and you're in Melbourne and you want one of the prototypes, again, it won't be framed, but effectively you'll get this uh, with the smaller rocket or the mermaid with the smaller mermaid. Um, I'll give it to, uh, hopefully I can give one to, to, you know, each to two, well, I'll give one to one person, one to another. Type in the comments now, boy, if you want the boy, girl, if you want the girl. I'm in the east, I'm southeast suburbs, so if you want to be around Chadston, again, whenever, when you're safe to, happy to do so, um, you know, masks will be worn, all that stuff. Type it in the comments, first one I see, we'll make a date, and we'll have a coffee, and we'll take a selfie, and uh, you can have it if you want it. <laughs> all right, take care, guys, and I'll uh, speak to you really, I'll see you soon. Bye.